Well, the streetcar takes its last major step before you can get aboard. The streetcar line is about to begin simulated passenger operations, they call them. That means it's running under a schedule, but nobody's going to be on board, except for the operator, of course, maybe a trainer. But that's not all that's about to happen. Local 12's Jeff Hurst joins us live from a streetcar stop in Over the Rhine with the explanation. Jeff. Well, good evening. You know, in many ways, a streetcar is just a big, long, electric-powered bus. But, of course, there are a lot of differences. The biggest difference is streetcar runs on tracks. And if you are parked illegally, the streetcar cannot go around you. You have to stay out of the way. Starting Sunday morning at 6.30, the streetcar begins pre-revenue service, running on a scheduled 12 to 15-minute headway, just like under regular operations, but for now without passengers. This gets streetcar operators the hours required to get certified. Also starting Sunday, police will begin cracking down on motorists and pedestrians who get in the way. No more warnings, real tickets. To check things out, we put a camera on our car and drove the three plus mile loop between over the Rhine and the banks downtown. And as we later found out, police officers were riding a streetcar at the same time. The two big things that we've noticed is pedestrian interaction with the streetcar. You know, pedestrians are very used to the metro buses. Streetcars are different. so. The pedestrians really have to be aware that the streetcar is coming. Uh, they have the right of way many, many times, and, and the pedestrians crossing in places they shouldn't is a potential for, for an accident. And also cars that are parking in violation where they're hanging out over the white line and they could impede the uh, streetcar. So those are really the two things that we've noticed. But today we rode it and, and very minimal problems that I see today. Pedestrian violations can lead to a $100 fine, parking citations from $50 to $140, bucks, plus they'll tow your car. The idea here is not to raise ticket revenue, it's to keep the system working. But I think over time, citizens and the motoring public are going to get used to the streetcar just like they have buses. And it's worked in other places of the, uh, in the country, and I think it's going to work out just fine. Now let me show you what they're talking about when they're talking about those lines. You can see that white line right there. You can see those cars parked on the other side. It goes all the way down. As I look down, it looks like all the cars are doing the right thing. And guess what's here? Perfect timing. Here it is, right here. Here's a streetcar right next to me. And the streetcar, actual passenger operations, they start on September the 9th. So these tests will continue for about a month with the scheduled stops. And here it goes again. There it goes. It's per I, didn't, I didn't plan this. I really didn't. But, you know. They'll be coming on the regular schedule for about a month. You can't get on September 9th. You can. Don't park on the tracks. It's really dumb. Jeff Hirsch, over the Rhine, back to you. A couple of quick questions. Does the streetcar make any noise? Yeah. In other words, do I hear it coming? It's very, very quiet. That, that's, that's a good question. You know, it's got a bell. It's got a horn. And if you're, you know, standing on the tracks, they're going to sound them. They do sound the bell when they come into the station. But it's quieter than a bus. A bus has the big, you know, the big motor. Uh, a streetcar is electric. Electric is pretty quiet. So, and who has the right of way? If I'm driving down the road, do I have to get out of the way of the streetcar or does it just sort of fit in between traffic? No, it fits in between traffic. It has to stop at red lights and stuff like that. You don't have to get out of the way if you're driving in traffic. You know, it'll stay behind you. But you know, if you're parked, even if you open your door or something, be really careful and don't park over that line because they'll, they'll tell you. Yeah, great information, Jeff Hurst. Thanks very much. The streetcar fare is $1 for two hours or $2 for an all-day pass.